Hey there guys, uh, it's finally a beautiful day here in Hochelaga, Montreal, uh, one of the oldest sectors in town. I'm a little bit pissed actually because you see, I bought this pair of gloves here at the dollar store two days ago, $3.50, but you know what they say, you pay for what you get. Look at this, they're already torn, they're already broken. So I gotta go find a good pair of gloves, you know, like $15 worth. But I like the idea of buying a pair of gloves that's like, you know, uh, $3 or $4. Why? Because it's a, one of the most annoying things you could own that you lose all the goddamn time. I've already lost two pairs this month. Uh, you know? Anyway, let's stay positive. So I've been meaning to film this old burb here for a while. Or as some of you guys really affectionately call them, a bourbon. And uh, I never get ar got around to it because right now, you see, I'm, uh, I'm actually... Uh, look at the complete opposite here with this stupid Ford there. I'm uh, like two blocks from my place. One block down that way, and then one block down down Cuvier. Oh, look at the kitty! Yeah, I never got around to filming this thing because it wasn't well lit, or it was because I had some packages with me, and I was going to the uh, to the pharmacy up the block there to go mail some stuff I sell on eBay. And I just figured, well, I'm gonna go see if she's here. I got a feeling I know the guy who owns this. He's a He's an old car fanatic like myself. Of course, only the difference is that he can actually drive legally, <laughs> and I can't. Now, you see by that grill, this leads me to believe this is an 88 or 89. Uh, I think maybe even 90, because if I remember correctly, oddly enough, when Chevy re when uh, Chevrolet redid their pickups uh, uh, from this body style that dates back to 73, well... They made that until 88, and then they revamped, uh, 87, then they redid them, okay? And uh, oddly enough, they didn't, they didn't seem to have the Suburban uh, ready for that design until 91 or 92, I think. Okay, so let's see. So now uh, this one is not a 4x4 version. This is a two-wheel drive, I believe. And uh, I don't really care for the painted black grill. People are nuts about the painted black grills, you know? I don't know. But then again, it's not a chrome grill, I don't think, before. I think it was actually uh, uh, aluminum. And uh, another thing also to note about this truck is that it is a, uh, it's a base model. And I uh, remember seeing this thing for sale, actually, at about six months or seven months ago or whatever on Kijiji. And I was like, yeah, I thought it was overpriced. The guy wanted, I think, like five six grand or I don't know something like that and you could see the whole rocker panel there is just completely rotted out you know matter of fact I'd like to get a look at what this thing looks like underneath but uh, so many cars driving by so instead I'm gonna I want to have a look at the inside because the inside is actually really nice on this thing look at that beautiful condition look at the condition of this thing there's no way it has a lot of miles look at the seat you know? Ugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What condition my condition was in. Yeah. Uh, there's something also I wanted to mention about this truck before I wrap it up is that it has the, uh, you can't see too well because of all the snow, but that is what's known as the ambulance doors, which means it's in two pieces. And that was usually for a commercial vehicle, a work truck, such as this was. Absolutely, I have no doubt, because it's a base model and it has those doors. And the regular model, which would have been for families or whatever, would have been a one-piece door. And uh, there's something else, too. A while back, not long ago, uh, somebody had sent me some footage of uh, some uh, uh, fire trucks responding from uh, here in Montreal. I, I don't know, I think it was from Station uh, 30, maybe. And... Uh, Anyway, and then like for maybe like two seconds, you see this exact same truck, it seems. I'm not saying it's the same one, but it sure as hell looked like it was the same one. Because it had the same doors, had the same red. Now, this one was probably repainted because the paint is actually too nice. But I'm telling you, it could be the same truck. I wonder. You know, again, uh, the, a lot of times uh, uh, firefighting vehicles don't have, a ton of don't have a ton of mileage, especially if it's not a pumper. Like, this would have been, like, for example, a, a, a rescue truck. Anyway, so, be cool if I knew if it was or not, you know what I mean? 
So anyway, maybe it wasn't the fire truck from uh, Montreal, but you know, a smaller town somewhere. Anyway, I hope you guys liked it there. Uh, and uh, Ultimate Fall saying uh, rock on. Bye bye.